<laughs> this guy is so cool and funny. I feel so comfortable and wholesome watching this dude. Hope that this guy isn't a piece of shit and physically abuses his partner and a lot of his friends. Oh yeah, it's a Minecraft streamer. F wholesome streamers, YouTubers, whatever, anything except the I word flies here are very wholesome. Whether it is just someone having genuine fun or being a fairly innocent lad, it gives fun fleas to viewers, and then it turns out they are a terrible person behind the stream. Mind you, a stream is generally 2-4 to four hours long, that's 20 hours more for them to play League of Legends. Blue Suit is an English bloke, probably already along the guilty line already that line. Before being the goofy cool guy that teenage girls fantasize him biting them, he was a producer for a YouTube channel named The Suit House where there was already like some alleged controversy behind the group. However, I can't really find much information about it, but he is very fond of women. How fond you ask? Allegedly emotionally abusing his ex-girlfriend, intoxicating her when f***ing her, and domestically abusing another wholesome streamer that he was alleged to beat her, gaslight her, and emotionally abuse her. Interestingly, all of this drama started from rumors with a wholesome streamer, accuser, not revealing, but accused, until people started piecing the puzzles with her description of the boyfriend being well suit. He did respond to the allegations in such a lawsuit protective response that it was seen as an AI generated statement. <laughs> For f sake, that's all you have to do, just be a human and you f can't. Many people were rumored to have experienced similar abuse and manipulation, including a f ton of other accusations from, I mind you, from his own associates. I think the most f***ed up part of this drama was when Wilbur decided to ban his entire Twitch mod team and deleted a bot that was linking domestic violence charities. That is actually a f***ed up move. And then promoted one of his mates from the suit house time and a burner account that was alleged of making fun of his accuser. What the f***, dude? Also, one of the accusers requested that People should not monetize her trauma for views. Don't worry girl, I'm not even eligible to earn any money. In the beginning, I was very skeptical of this drama as there was so much backlash from his own associates that this has to be a f***ing bait. Even little Tay jumped in a boat and criticized him. And she's actually f***ing right. I even defended him with how one-sided the entire situation is. And then I read his defense and it was like, it was literally just a level 1 cannon against a full army. He is completely f***. If I asked you what are the perks of being fat in school, probably not a lot of answers there. So right into 2024, Illumations, a genuinely wholesome and relatable animator, tells her story of being a fat kid in school. How she was bullied, made fun of, how diet culture is an outdated belief that what you eat determines if it makes you a bad person or not. What? I get that it is fine to accept your body as what it is. If it gives you mental clarity, that's fine, be more happy. But if diet culture depends on me eating greasy fast food is a good thing eating greens makes me a bad person, what the f does that insinuate? It's like those videos where if you don't have the same thing as the person, you are a bad person. Oh dude, you didn't eat chicken dino nuggets when you were like 40? Hug this down, vote kid. There's also some sort of misinformation in the video. Let's read this comment, I'm too lazy to explain it. Something about BMIs and the company. And what we can see, the topic of being overweight is a controversial one. Enough so that the commentary channel accuses Illumination of being a left wing. I cannot believe that Joe Biden would support free food for children. This is such a fat acceptance. Diet culture isn't just about smoothies and food tracking apps, and it doesn't only harm people who diet. It's written by Christine Byrne, and it says, Even the young teenagers I work with in my nutrition practice use the term diet culture. They talk about how their parents don't keep certain foods in the house, their friend is trying to lose weight, or their coach told them to avoid sugar because, you know, diet culture. Please, Christine, tell me how keeping junk food out of the house and avoiding processed sugar is problematic. Or maybe give some advice on how to eat healthy? Nope, she just says you're a racist if you think being thin is good. So what does Illumination do with a video which has fair criticism towards her very divisive video? Is it gonna accept that other people have their own opinions and facing backlash is normal for acclaimed YouTubers and we should just face the fact that that is how life works and we should just move forward? No, she's just, she's just false reporting it by getting her fans to hate comment bomb the video, talk to a YouTube receptionist and reported the video for being too based. Like all you have to do is 
Be a relatable, wholesome, troubled girl. Not f***ing making yourself look dumb in your own video and the platform of someone for just criticizing you. That's just me but with the second part most likely happening years later. Damn, 2024 is not saving any space for anyone. So popular Minecraft wholesome, lovable, homosexualized streamer Joyce Not Found was accused of sexually assaulting a woman. Guys, he isn't gay. All of the women fantasizing a green blob in the cloud glasses having sex. You all have a chance. Basically, the accuser was at this party and got drunk. George then allegedly approached her inappropriately while her not giving any consent. George responded to this in a stream for Christ's sake. Just can we stop doing that and just do f***ing statements? I'm not gonna watch you stream. In the stream, he explained she did give consent, but she was kind of drunk, with him touching her waistline and cuddling her. The soccer of this whole situation. She was underage. Why was she in a party and gotten drunk when she was underage? Who knows, maybe a friend bought her some alcohol, maybe blame them. Sexual assault is a little thingy here since with the only given sexual assaulting was George touching her waistline and cuddling her, which does lie under sexual assault if it is unconsented. But in this case, she was drunk, and she did not want to be sexually approached, but she was drunk, so she did consent to George in a way who probably didn't know that she was underage with her being drunk. So this is a very f***ed up case for everyone involved that proves that nobody is in the right nor the wrong. For some reason, yes, just a tiny bit. Even the people that supported George retracted their support when hearing about the girl being underage, which is a very appropriate thing to do. A lot of people in this controversy are fairly right and wrong. The accuser is within the right to accuse George, mostly fueled by the uncertainty of her circumstance but still gotten drunk while not being supposed to be, and George supporters saying how she was drunk and she was also underage and how the matter should have been handled privately and blown out of proportion, but George still technically actually assaulting her. But the biggest W in this case was George taking accountability and apologizing for what he did in light of knowing that she was underage. Yeah, he's totally wholesome. Neon, the popular wholesome streamer, was banned from Kick. Uh, uh, how? Like, the platform that hosts controversial streamers, you somehow got banned. In a stream, he was hosting a Discord call fan meetup when one of them says they'll beat him up and his girlfriend. Not the first time. So what does Nia do? Does she? He attempted to dox the person and then said, "Quote, quote, I don't give a f if you're ten years old. I will f you in the a till you're. F I swear to God, shut the f up. Well, I'll be damned. The. F I tried to be nice to you, bro. Shut the f up. I'll beat the sh you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the f That fat s I'll smack her in her face too, b And I'll got him about to dox your entire family. What's your name? I'm not doing sh What's your name? I'm sucking my d Are you a b What's your name? What's What's your name? Kizzy, bro. My name's Kizzy. It says what's your, it in my what's name, your first name? All I need is your first name. name I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? What's your, what's your first name, bitch? What's your first name? Tell me your first name. I'll give you my I don't give a f***. You're 10 years old. I will f*** you Please. I swear to God. He did apologize. And to give him the benefit of the doubt, he's still 19. He's still very dumb and he might not even be a But he's still an adult so he does deserve all the stupid s he does and all the consequences. After the stream, Kick banned him and he issued an apology where Kick decided to unban him 3 days later. He recently visited my home country, the Philippines, and this country is already a f***ing laughing stuff. We don't need more imports of idiots. He went to Tondo aka The Hood and I'm surprised that he didn't got f stabbed there. What? What country? Yeah. I'm from India. Yeah. Yeah. What? No. Africa. Africa. Africa, yeah. You like the Philippines? Yeah. It's cool? Cool. Cool. Nice. Yeah, where, do you, where do you live? Yeah, Can I see your house? I, no. Oh. My house. And I'll got him about a dox your entire family. You see all the fake news that Tondo residents were stealing and stabbing and even shooting firemen when extinguishing a big fire? It was all fake news and just rumors, but that is how people think of how violent a place is. 